Hi, this video is going to look at equations of linear relations in standard form. The learning goals for this video are to identify an equation of a linear relation in standard form, and also to rearrange an equation from standard form to slope intercept form. So we're going to look at these two equations that are on the screen there, and we're going to graph them using Desmos. And then we're going to compare the two graphs and see what we notice. So I've already put in the first equation, which is 3x plus 4y plus 20 is equal to 0. And you notice that it is that red line there. It is a negative slope because it's going down from left to right. And it also has a y-intercept here of 5. Now we're going to look at this equation here. y is equal to negative 3 quarters x plus 5. And we're going to see what that graph looks like. So it's on there now, and it's in blue. And you can tell that it's on top of the red line, which is the graph of the other equation. So because these two equations graph the same line, that means that these two equations are equivalent, meaning that they essentially mean the same thing. So how do we go from one form to another? And that's one of the big goals that we're going to be looking at uh, for this video. So those two equations are the same linear relation, but they're written in two different forms. So one equation was written in slope intercept form, which is in the form y is equal to mx plus b. And it's called slope intercept form because uh, the m represents the slope of the line, and the b represents the y intercept. So that's why it's called slope intercept form because you can take a look at the equation and we can immediately tell what the slope is. So for this line, the slope is negative three quarters and the y intercept is five. Now the other form is called standard form, which is usually written as ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, where a, b, and c are integer numbers. So um, we can see here that you can't really tell right away what the slope of the line is, nor can you really tell what the y-intercept is from this form. So this one is not as useful to me as the slope-intercept form. So our goal for today is if we're given an equation, uh, a linear equation in standard form, can we translate it into slope intercept form and therefore I can see what the slope and the y-intercept are? So we're going to spend a little bit of time making sure that we know how to do that. So we're going to translate this line in standard form into y equals mx plus b. That way I can read off the equation and I can see that that number that's next to the x is the slope and that number that's adding or subtracting at the end of x um, or 2x is going to be the y-intercept. So I want to have everything except y remaining on this left side of the equation. So we're going to have to do a little bit of solving and isolating this uh, variable y here. So I see 5x that's on the left side and I don't want that there anymore. So to remove it I'm going to subtract it from this side of the equation. Now because this is an equation anything that I take away from on the left side I have to take away also on the right side of the equation. I see this minus 8 here that I don't want on this side anymore, so I'm going to add it to remove it. If I add 8 to this side, I also have to add 8 to the right side of the equation. So what we've done is we have uh, subtracted the 5x and we've added uh, this 8 to remove it. So all we have left here is negative 2y. And that's equal to, well now this is all right, this is just zero. So anything that I've, uh, so there's nothing there, but now I've taken away 5x and I've um, added 8. So that is now what is on the right side of this equation. Now, back to slope-intercept form, you notice that I just have y. 
So I don't want this negative 2 right now that's multiplying with y remaining here. So to get rid of that, I'm going to do the opposite of, of multiplying negative 2y, uh, negative 2, which is divide by negative 2. Now if I do that on the left side, I have to do that on the right side. So I'm going to divide uh, each term by 2. Now those negative 2s will divide away. So I'm left with y here. And that's equal to um, the, the negatives will divide away. So I have 5 halves x. And then uh, I have 8 divided by negative 2. So that's negative 4. So this is um, the same relation. But now the equation is written in a slope intercept form. So I can tell that the slope whoops, slope is equal to this number here, 5 halves, and the y intercept is equal to negative 4. Now, I'm just going to show you that I graph the original equation, and this is the graph of that line. So you can see that the y intercept here is at negative 4. And it's got a slope of 5 halves because if I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then go to the right 1, 2, I hit the line again. So this line has a slope of 5 halves and a y-intercept of negative 4, which I knew uh, without graphing it by looking at the equation in uh, slope-intercept form. All right, let's take a look at another example. So we've got 6x plus 4y plus 15 is equal to 0. We're going to translate this to y equals mx plus b so that we can um, easily identify the slope and the y-intercept. So again, we're going to try to get y all by itself on this left side of the equation. So I'm going to eliminate this 6x here by subtracting it away on the left side, which means I also have to subtract 6x on the right side of the equation. I'm, uh, I see this plus 15 that I need to eliminate, so I'm going to subtract 15, do the opposite, which means I also have to subtract 15 on the right side of the equation. So um, the 6x and the minus 6x are going to subtract out, as well as that plus 15 and the minus 15. I'm left with positive 4y, so I'm just going to write 4y and that's equal to negative 6x minus 15. Um, now I just need to divide away this 4 that's right now multiplying with the y. So we're going to divide by 4 and we're going to divide each term by 4. So those 4's will divide away. I am left with y is equal to, I have negative, I'm just going to write 6 over 4 x minus 15 over 4. Now I can reduce this fraction because I can divide both numbers by 2. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to write 3 halves x minus 15 quarters. So I can tell that the slope of my line here is equal to negative 3 three halves and the y intercept is negative 15 quarters. I'm going to show you the graph and you can see that um, negative 15 quarters is the same thing as negative 3.75 so that's the y intercept and this goes down by, uh, sorry, it has a slope of negative 3 over 2. So if I see a point, actually I probably can't see one. But if we go down 1, 2, 3, and then go over 1, 2, you're going to hit that line. So um, this graph here represents this um, linear equation, which we translated into slope-intercept form. And we can tell what the y-intercept and the slope are without needing to graph it. All right, so now it's your turn. You're going to try one, and we're going to graph the line afterwards. So we can use this to help us graph um, by hand um, uh, a linear equation by translating it 
into y equals mx plus b so that we can see the slope and the y-intercept. And we can use those two uh, pieces of information to graph a line. So why don't you give that a try? Um, translate this into y equals mx plus b and uh, pause the video now, give it a try, and then when you're ready to see an answer, uh, you can press play again. Alrighty, so let's take a look and isolate the y here. So remember, we just want to keep this negative 2y here for now. So I'm going to subtract 3x from this side, which means I have to subtract 3x on the right side. I'm going to remove this minus 8 by doing the opposite, which is plus 8. So I'm going to do that on both sides side. So again, this 3x and this minus 3x will divide away and this, uh, or, or subtract away, sorry, and this minus 8 and this plus 8 will also um, add each other to 0. So we've got this negative 2y remaining. So that's what I'm going to write. And that's equal to negative 3x plus 8. Now we're going to divide away that negative 2. So that means I have to do that to both terms there. So that negative 2 will divide out. I'm left with y is equal to. Now these negatives will divide away. Uh, so I have positive 3 halves x. And then I have uh, positive 8 divided by negative 2. So that's negative 4. So I have a slope here. And this is my y-intercept. So I'm going to graph this. So I'm going to put the y-intercept on the graph. I'm going to go right here at negative 4. Now the slope is rise over run. So I go up 3, right 2, and I should hit another point on the line. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, right 2, 1, 2, and I have another point on the line. I can continue that and go up 1, 2, 3, and then right 2. Two. Whoops. Let me just erase that. So um, let's draw a straight line through that with two arrows. Okay. And that would be um, my line. All right. Now, um, just to see how we could actually uh, find the slope of a um, of a line that's represented using standard form we could actually take we could actually take the slope directly because you can see that there's a there's a straightforward algorithm or, or a procedure that we need to do to translate this into y equals mx plus b let's just see what happens if we have a generic um, equation in this in this case ax plus by plus c is equal to zero what would this translate to in terms of y equals mx plus b so we're going to do the exact same thing that we've been doing um, we are going to remove this ax here on this side which means i will subtract ax on that side i have here this plus c i'm going to subtract it away on this side uh, so those will subtract away, so will the c's. I'm left with by is equal to, I'm just going to write what's here, minus 8x minus c. Now, I have this b that's multiplying with the y. I'm going to divide that away. So I'm going to divide every term by b. So those b's here will divide away. I'm left with y is equal to negative a over b x minus c over b. So in other words, if you have an equation in standard form, you could um, see that the slope here is negative a over b. So basically it's just the first number divided by the second number and then you change the sign to a negative, okay? Or if it's already negative then you would change it to a positive. So it would be the ne it would be the opposite sign. Um, and the y intercept is just whatever that c number is divided by the b number and it's also 
uh, the, the opposite sign. And it's negative. So this is a shortcut. So you could use these two forms here to um, identify automatically what the slope and the y-intercept are from a, uh, an equation in standard form. Okay, so you can use this or you can just use the translating um, uh, to find out what y equals mx plus b would look like if you were to translate that line or that equation. All right, so uh, to just sum things up, equations in the form y equals mx plus b and ax plus by plus c is equal to zero are linear. They're both uh, uh, represent, uh, representing straight lines. And to algebraically determine the slope and the y-intercept of a line, that's uh, represented by an equation in standard form like this, we just rearrange it to slope intercept form. And then once we, once we have the equation like this, we just need to read off um, this number here, which is the slope, and that number there would be the y-intercept. All right, I hope that um, makes translating uh, standard form to y equals mx plus b or slope intercept form a little bit more clear. Thanks for watching.